Hello viewers, so welcome to this course. This is the first lecture. So we start with this lecture with the very basic differential equation that is the first order linear differential equation. We know that a linear first order linear differential equation. So, I start with the first order. So, so this is the simplest differential equation, first order differential equation dy by dx is equal to fxy, where y is a dependent variable and x is the independent variable. And my function on the right hand side is a function of x and y. So, we know that this differential equation we can solve by applying the method of integration if the right hand side function f x y is integrable. So, I want to solve this differential equation. So, I start with the simplest one. So, I take the equation 1, equation 1 can be can be defined as the simplest form I have dy by dx is equal to some constant that is equal to some c. And I know that the constant c is a integrable function. So, to solve this differential equation what I do is I integrate integrate equation 2 both side with respect to x we get dy by dx is equal to integration of some constant cx. Now, we know that by with respect to dx. Now, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, we know that on the left hand side, we are taking the derivative and then integrating the function again. So, from the left hand side, we will get function y x is equal to c x is equal to c x plus constant of integration d. So, this is the solution of the differential equation 2 and I am able to solve this differential equation because I am able to do the integration where d is the in, uh, constant of integration. Now, this is the solution and for the different different values of the constant d, I can have different different solutions. So, in this case I can say that the solution exists and it has infinite many of solutions because I can take the different values of d and I will get the different different value of solutions. So, and if you see you, this is the equation of a line and if I take put equation of line and c is the slope of that line. So, in this case if I put d equal to 0 there is another line, if put d equal to 1 there is another line, d is equal to minus 1 there is another line. So, these are all the isoclines we, uh, we can draw and then it gives the family of the solutions. <coughs> now, out of this family of the solution, suppose I want to take a solution which starts with some points x equal to x naught. So, I define a condition that I want a solution which has, which start at the point x naught and it has the initial value that is equal to y at x naught is a y naught. So, such type of equation we know it is called initial value problems. So, in the short form I will write this as I, <coughs> I V P. Now, suppose I define this one. So, the above solution I can write as is equal to C at x naught plus D and that value is equal to y naught. 
So, from here I can define the value of d that is equal to y naught minus c x naught. So, uh, my solution becomes y x becomes c x plus y naught minus c x naught which can be further simplified and it becomes c x minus x naught plus y naught. So, that is my solution and this is a unique solution which is starting from the point x naught. To verify this one, I can put let us put in this case y at x naught. So, y at x, x naught becomes c into x naught minus x naught plus y naught. So, that becomes the y naught. So, this is the solution corresponding to this initial condition. So, after solving this equation, I will move further and I will try to make this differential equation, first order differential equation little bit harder by putting that dy by dx is equal to some function of x, where my f x is a function which is integrable. Integral means which we can do the integration. It may be continuous and or it is a discontinuous and then it has a finite number of discontinuities. So, suppose I have a f x, maybe it can be sin x, it can be x square, it can be it can be uh, exponential function, anything it can be. So, I want to solve now the differential equation of this type. Now, I in this case also my function f x is integrable, then I will do the integration I will do the integration integration both side with respect to x. So, my left hand side becomes dy by dx dx is equal to f x dx. Now, my function is integrable. So, this integration is possible it will give you some finite solution and on the left hand side by the fundamental theorem of calculus, I will get y x on the left hand side, it becomes equal to the integration f x dx plus some constant of integration because on the left hand side I have taken the constant of integration. So, this is the solution of the differential equation 3. So, in this case, this uh, equation is also soluble because this is a linear equation and the right hand side function f x is integrable. So, we are able to solve this differential equation the same way and then uh, if I apply the same initial value problem by putting some y x naught is equal to y naught, then I am able to find the solution at I am able to find a unique solution by getting some value for this constant of integration c. So, this is also soluble for this initial value. I will write a general linear first order differential equation. So, first order the general general first order linear differential equation. So, I start with the differential equation dy by dx is plus plus some function p x y x is equal to some function on the right hand side that is q x. So, in this case I consider that my function p x and q x are continuous or continuous function of x. So, and we know that the, if the function are continuous then they are integrated. So, this equation this is a 4 equation. So, if, if q x 
is equal to 0, then this is called homogeneous differential equation and then in that case we are left with dy by dx plus px y is equal to 0. So, in this case if my qx is 0 then I am able to solve I should be able to solve this differential equation. So, this is the homogeneous first order linear differential equation. So, I call it equation number 5. Now, from the from the my previous knowledge I was able to solve the differential equation first order differential equation in which I have a function that is d over dx equal to some function of x only. But in this case I have d y by dx is equal to minus of p x y x. So, in this case on the right hand side I have some product of two functions or I can have a functions which is dependent variable also appearing on the right hand side. So, let us see how to solve this type of differential equation. So, in this case how we will proceed? So, let us do this one. So, I have this differential equation dy by dx is equal to minus p x y x. So, what I do is I take this function y x on the left hand side and on the right hand side I have only this left with p x. <coughs> so, in this case we are assuming that my y x is not equal to 0 because only then I am able to divide this one. Then I integrate integrate both side with respect to x. So, on the left hand side I have dy by dx divided by y x and on the right hand side I have minus of p x dx. <coughs> now, on the left hand side I what I have? I have the function and above that in the numerator its derivative is there. So, I know that the integration of this function can be written as log, log means it is I am taking the natural logarithm y x is equal to minus of p x dx. So, that we know that how to integrate on the left hand side and on the right hand side I have a function p x and this is the integration we can take. So, from that one now and C is the constant of integration I am taking. So, from here why I am taking the modulus value because I am taking the logarithmic and we know that log is defined for the positive functions for the positive value. So, this is the positive function. Now, from here I want to find my y x. So, I take the logarithm anti logarithm both side and then it becomes exponential minus of p x d x plus c. So, this one I can define as y x modulus value is equal to e minus p x d x. So, this is the minus value. minus and this is the constant of integration I can multiply by c this, this is a new c. Okay. So, from here I can write from this now so this exponential is already positive value. So, from here I can write y x and taking this on the left hand side c e raised to power minus p x d x modulus value that is always equal to 1 in this case. So, this is true for all value of x and the function. So, if the function is the modulus of some function is equal to some constant for all value of x 
then we know that then that function itself is a constant function. So, from here I can define that this itself is a 1 because for all value of x the modulus value is equal to 1 and then we know that if it is happening then the function itself is equal to 1. So, from here I can write that my y x is equal to 1 <coughs> no no sorry 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 uh, what happened. So, from here I have taken this one on the right side. So, this one so this is equal to 0 sorry because I have taken on the left hand side. So, from here I can write so I should erase this one. So, this becomes 0 and this becomes 0. So, from here I can write this function as so y x can be written as c e p x d x. So, that is my solution. So, this is true for all x. So, this is the general solution for the corresponding homogeneous first order differential equation. So, we are going to use this one to solve little bit harder problem. Now, so after equipped with the methods to solve a simpler forms, now I am ready to solve the general form. So, that general form I have written that dy by dx plus px y x is equal to q x. So, q x now as in the mathematics we know that whatever the knowledge we have gained till now we want to use that knowledge to solve the tougher problem. So, in this case we know that how to solve the differential equations which has some simpler form. So, we use that knowledge to solve this equation. So, what we will do that? Now, we will try to convert this equation into those form which are we are able to solve now till now. So, in this case I want to make or I want to convert this differential equation into some of the form that some of the function some of the functions f that I am able to solve y dash is equal to some q x. So, I want to convert this mat this equation into this form and then we know that I can integrate this one and it will be the solution of that equation. So, how do, do we can do that? So, now what I want to do? I multiply the equation the general equation this equation I can write as uh, I can write as g. So, this is the general equation I want to solve. So, multiply equation g with some functions. So, let us call it mu x. Then we have mu x dy by dx plus mu x mu x p x y is equal to mu x q x. So, that is the function I am taking. So, I have multiplied this equation by the mu x such that on the left hand side I should be getting a function which can be put in the form of a differentiation together. So, now what I want is till now I am able to solve the differential equation. <coughs> 
So I want to put this expression in this form that d by dx is equal to mu x y x such that it should be equal to mu should be equal to mu x q x. So, this one I can take the derivative by the product rule. So, I can have this mu x dy by dx plus d mu by dx y x. So, that should be equal to mu x q x. So, so, I want to reduce my equation in this form. So, this is possible. So, this is possible if I take that d mu by dx is equal to mu x p x. Because if you compare this equation, this equation and this equation. So, in this case, if I want to convert this one into this form, then my d mu by d x should be equal to mu x p x. And this is, I know that I have already solved this equation and this equation has the solution mu x is equal to some constant and then e raise to power integration. So, in, in this case p is there. So, p x d x. So, we are able to solve this form. Now, for the simplicity, I can take my c is equal to 1. So, from here, I can write my mu x is equal to e power minus plus p x d x. So, I know the value of this mu now. So, if I have this value, then by putting this value in the equation g, so we have now p x d x, it is d y by d x plus p x d x into p x y is equal to p x d x into q x. Right? So, on the left hand side, we can write this equation as p x d x into y x whole derivative and that is equal to q x e raised to power p x dx. So, now this is a differential equation that we have a derivative on the left hand side and the integral function on the right hand side. So, we know that how to solve this one, we can integrate both sides with respect to x and if I do the integration uh, with respect to x both side, then what I will get is e p x dx y x becomes q x it is p x d x plus some constant of integration and which further can be written as y x is equal to. So, I can divide by this factor now. So, this factor if I take on the right hand side this becomes p x d x then q x e p x d x plus e minus p x d x into c. So, we are able to solve this differential equation, the general differential equation with the help of mu function and that mu is, this is my mu function. So, this mu function has some special name. So, this mu 
whatever we have written here in this case p x d x is called integrating factor. is called <coughs> is called integrating factor so because it is helping us to make the differential equation on the left hand side the differentiable so this is the general solution for solving the general linear first order differential equation now Suppose some initial condition is also given. So, let us suppose I have a function y x, let us suppose I have a function y at x naught is equal to y naught. So, this is my initial condition given to me. So, I have the same general uh, first order equation with this initial condition. So, in this case my solution becomes now I so I want just to let you know that how we can solve when the initial value is given to me. So, in this case I know that I already had the factor that is mu x. So, mu x is given to me. So, I have mu x mu x y dash is equal to q x mu x. So, this is I have. Now, I integrate both side with respect to x from between because I now I starting with the point x naught. So, between x naught to x. So, I in this case I have to integrate starting from the x naught. So, integrate this one then I will get mu x y from x naught to x is becoming on the left right hand side I will get x naught to x q x mu x d x. So, this is the definite integral we know. So, the left hand side now if we put the limit in that case. So, it becomes mu x y x minus mu x naught y x naught and on the right hand side I have factor x naught to x. So, now I can change my internal variable. So, I can write as mu s q s d s because now in this case after putting the limit I will get the function in x. So, from here my solution becomes y x is equal to 1 over mu x then mu x naught and y naught is given to me. So, y at x naught is given to me plus x naught to x as q s d s. So, this is my solution for the initial value problem. So, now we are able to solve any initial value problem which has the general form of linear first order equation. So, we are after developing this theory just we want to solve some examples and we want to apply this theory that we are able to solve the differential equation or not. So, now start with the example 1. So, let us I want to solve dy dy by dx is plus 
टू एक्स वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स विद द इनिशियल कंडीशन दैट वाई वन इज इक्वल टू टू सो दिस इज माई डिफेंशियल क्वेश्चन इनिशियल प्रॉब्लम एंड इट स्टार्टिंग विद द पॉइंट वन एंड पासिंग दैट वाई एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन इज इक्वल टू टू सो नाउ दिस इज दिस डिफेंशियल इक्वेशन इज ऑफ द फॉर्म डी वाई बाई डी एक्स प्लस पी एक्स वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू क्यू एक्स सो इन दिस केस माई पी एक्स इज टू एक्स एंड माई क्यू एक्स इज माई क्यू एक्स इज एक्स एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन सी दैट पी एक्स इज टू एक्स एंड क्यू एक्स इज एक्स एंड दे आर द कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन सो इट इज सेटिसफाइंग द कंडीशन बेज ऑन दैट वन सो फ्रॉम यूजिंग दिस वन आई आई कैन डिफाइन माई इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर सो इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर इज ई इन टू पी एक्स पी एक्स इज टू एक्स डी एक्स सो इट बिकम्स ई एक्स स्क्वेर सो दिस इज माई इंटीग्रेन फैक्टर दैट इज द म्यू एक्स वी हैव डिफाइंड इन द लास्ट क्लास इन द लास्ट स्लाइड सो वंस आई हैव द इंटीग्रेन फैक्टर देन वी नो दैट आई हैव द सोल्यूशन y x is equal to one over mu x one over mu x and then mu x not y not plus so in this case my x not is one so from one to x and then we have q x and the integral factor mu x dx so this is my solution so mu x is i have already known that mu x is e to power x square so now this is already known so i want to find out the right hand side so this factor i want to find 1 to x q x is x so e to power x square dx so this one i want to find so this can be also written as 1 over 1 to x s e raised to power s square ds now i know that this is a function and this is the derivative so it can be uh, written as e raised to power s square by 2 so this will come e x square so this is written as e x square by 2 so this is my factor i have solved now now the general solution is y x is equal to so mu x is already known so this becomes e raised to power minus x square and mu at x not what is the mu at x not what is x not so x not is is 1 so mu at x not will be e only so this will be e because putting just in the state of x i am putting x not equal to 1 so once i put the x equal to 1 it becomes e and y not is 2 so it becomes 2 because in the previous you can see that this is y1 is equal to 2 so once i have y1 equal to 2 then this value becomes 2e plus e x square by 2 so after solving this equation so this is my general solution for this initial value problem so that is my solution now so this is the example we have solved with the help of the our knowledge of solving the first order differential equation so let's take some another example x minus a dy by dx plus 3y 
is equal to 12 x minus a power cube such that I have x is greater than a and greater than 0. So, this is given to me that x is greater than a and both are greater than 0. So, this differential equation is the first order linear differential equation and I want to solve this one. So, in this case first I want to put this one in the standard form whatever the standard form we have. So, in this case I know that x is not equal to a. So, I can divide by this factor. So, I can divide the whole equation with x minus a and I will get 3 x minus a y is equal to 12 x minus a q by x minus a. So, that will become 12 x minus a power so, now in the this equation we are able to convert into the standard form. So, from here I know that this my p x is 3 by x minus a and my q x is 12 x minus a whole square. So, this p x and q x also continuous function because in this case x is never equal to a. So, this is also continuous function well defined function. Now, in this case to solve this one I apply the again the integrating factor. So, I find out the my mu x that is the integrating factor. So, this will be exponential p dx. So, this is the integrating factor I want to solve. So, if you solve this integrating factor, so it becomes so e 3 and x minus a I can take. So, this becomes ln x minus a. So, that will become because in this case my x minus a is always positive because x is greater than a. So, I have this value this can be written as e ln x minus a power cube and this is further can be written as x minus a power cube. So, now I have my integrating factor. So, integrating factor in this case is x minus a power q. So, that is my integrating factor. So, the general solution y x can be written as 1 over x minus a power q and then integrating with my q x is 12. So, it is 12 x minus a square with the integrant factor x minus a q dx plus c. So, that is the constant of integration because in this case we do not have any initial condition. So, this is indefinite integrals. Now, if I solve this equation further it can be it can be written as my y x becomes 1 over x minus a power q and this becomes 12 x minus a power 5 d x plus c. So, this is the solution and which can be further solved. So, this is the power 6. So, it becomes x minus a power 6 by 6 into 12 plus c. So, which can be further simplified and this equation becomes 2 x minus a power 6 plus c where c is the constant of integration. So, this is my general solution for this equation and c is the integration the constant of integration. So, using this one we are able to solve the first order linear first order equation which has the standard form. 
Now, <coughs> I will also try to solve few non-linear equations which are very important and they are the first order equation. So, I will just give you the example because till now we have done only the linear equation which has the standard form. Now, I will give you some example which has a non-linear form. So, first order non-linear non-linear non linear differential equation. So, the most important is we start with the very important is first one is the Bernoulli. Bernoulli equation. So, Bernoulli equation we know. So, Bernoulli equation is can be written as dy by dx dy by dx plus px yx is equal to qx y raised to power n, where the n belongs to real line. So, this equation is looks similar to the, the standard form of the linear equation and now in this case if n is equal to 0 then be, it becomes just the simpler form or for n is equal to 1. So, for n equal to 0 and 1 the equation, so this I write as a b, b means Bernoulli equation. This b is a linear form. So, linear form and that we can solve very easily. Now, for <coughs> also also for n greater than 0, y equal to 0 is a solution. So, that is the trivial solution because if you put n greater than 0, y equal to 0 is also one of the solution. So, for the non-trivial solutions, now, to find non trivial solution so what do we want we want to convert this one into the form we are able to solve from the previous methods so because this is the things we are doing that now this is a nonlinear equation so by some transformation i want to transfer this equation into the known form which I have just solved this one. So, for that to find uh, non-trivial solution, so let us consider one transformation. So, let I take a function u x is equal to some y x. So, y x is the solution of this power 1 minus n. So, this is the transformation I am taking and using this transformation So, from here I can define that my u dash x it will be 1 minus n y x power. So, 1 minus n minus 1 and that is d y by d x. So, this is my derivative. So, which can be further simplified and it becomes 1 minus n y x power minus n and this is y dash. This is y dash x. Now, which can be further solved. So, this can be further solved and we have u dash x becomes 1 minus n y is to power minus n and the y dash. So, y dash I already know that my differential equation. So, y dash can be written as q 
qx y की पावर n माइनस पी एक्स वाई एक्स दिस इज बिकॉज आई जस्ट इन द वाई डैश आई पुट द फॉर्म राइट एंड साइड सो विच कैन बी फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइड एंड इफ आई टेक द वाई माइनस रेस्ट टू पावर माइनस एन इन साइड सो आई विल गेट क्यू एक्स माइनस पी एक्स वाई माइनस एन प्लस वन सो दिस इज आई एम गेटिंग सो विच कैन यू फर्दर रिटर्न एज वन माइनस एन क्यू एक्स माइनस पी एक्स एंड वट इज दिस वाई सो आई नो दैट यू एक्स इज वाई वन माइनस एन सो दिस इज वन माइनस एन सो इट बिकम्स यू एक्स सो फ्रॉम हेयर आई हैव माई डिफेंशियल क्वेश्चन यू डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू so this form i will take on the left hand side so this one becomes plus 1 minus n px ux is equal to 1 minus n qx so this is again is the same form so now this is my standard form whatever the px we have taken in the previous and this is the capital qx on the right hand side so this is the linear equation and i can solve this linear equation very easily and then by applying this one so in this case my integrative factor because whenever i want to solve this type of linear equation i need a integrating factor so integrating factor in this case that is my mu x will be e raised to power so integrating factor in this case will be e raised to power 1 minus n px dx so which once i know the integrating factor i can solve this differential equation and then once i know the value of the solution ux so because this is a linear equation ux so from here i will get the value of ux so once i know the value of ux from here i can find the value of yx by just putting back into the transformation so let's do one example that how to solve a bernoulli equation so let's take one example so let's take so let us solve the differential equation dy by dx d y by d x plus plus x y is equal to x y square. So this is a non-linear equation because non-linear because we have y square on the right hand side, and this is a Bernoulli equation for n is equal to two. So now I want to solve this differential equation. so i will take the same transformation so let my ux so i define ux ux is equal to yx power 1 minus n so in this case my n is equal to 2 so that becomes yx 1 minus 2 so it is 1 over y x so this is my transformation ux and in this case my u dash x will be minus 1 over y square dy by dx and dy by dx is already given to me so from here i will get so dy by dx can be written as x y square minus xy now i take the factor inside so i'll get minus x and plus x over y so i have a differential equation of this type now so this differential equation can be written as again i will so <coughs>
minus further I have d u d u by d x is equal to minus x. Now, what I have taken u x is equal to 1 over y. So, from here I can write so, this can be written as x u x. So, this is the equation I want to solve. So, from here which can be solved So, this equation can be further written as d u by d x minus x u x is equal to minus x. So, this is again in the form of p q x. So, in this case my p x is minus x and my q x is also minus x. So, if I solve this differential equation further then <coughs> So, if I solve this one, I will get the solution. So, this you can uh, solve yourself, then I will get the solution u x is equal to 1 plus c e raised to power x square by 2, because integrating factor in this case is uh, e minus x dx. So, that becomes e raised to power minus x square by 2. So, this is my integrating factor. So, this is the solution in the terms of u and if I take the solution in the y x. So, y x can be written as y x is 1 over u x. So, this will be 1 plus c e raised to power x square by 2. So, that is the solution of this Bernoulli equation. So, by the transformations we are able to convert or transform a nonlinear differential equation into the linear differential equation and the linear differential equation we know how to solve that differential equation. So, we can take a another example of the Bernoulli form and that we take x dy by dx plus y is equal to 1 over y square. So, in this case my this is a Bernoulli form for n is equal to minus 2, but once first I will uh, transform this one into the standard form. So, here we take that x is never equal to 0 I convert this one into divide by x. So, I can write this as y over x plus 1 over x y square and which can be written as y minus 2 by x. So, this is the again the binomial Bernoulli form with my n is equal to minus 2. Now, this is also a nonlinear equation and this is in the Bernoulli form. So, I want to solve this equation. Now, the criteria is same I will take the transformation transform this nonlinear equation to the first order linear equation and then I will solve with the help of integrating factor. So, in this case the transformation let I have my u x and that is the y x 1 minus n. So, in this case my y x becomes 1 minus 2. So, it will becomes y cube. So, that is my transformation. So, u square is equal to y cube. So, if I apply the same transformation I will get my differential equation. So, differential equation in this case becomes <coughs> u dash x is equal to 3 by x minus 3 by x u x. So, this is the differential equation we are getting which can be further solved and which can be written as u dash x taking this one on the right left hand side plus 
3 by x u x is equal to 3 by x. So, this is my linear first order differential equation of the form of the standard form which can be further solved and if I solve further you can solve this equation by yourself and in this case I will get the solution u x is equal to 1 plus c x cube. So, this is the solution I got. So, by the transformation I know that my y x is equal to u x power 1 by 3. So, the my y x solution becomes 1 plus c over x cube power 1 by 3. So, that is the general solution for the given Bernoulli form. So, we are able to solve the very famous Bernoulli equation which is highly non-linear by taking the transformation and converting that one into the linear form. So, in the today lecture we have discussed that how to solve the linear differential equation and then we have extended to the Bernoulli equation which is highly non-linear by taking the transformation we are able to convert the Bernoulli equation into the linear equation and which can be solved with the help of integrand factor. So, uh, thanks very much for listening me and in from, we, from the next class we will go further and solve the Riccati equation and some important uh, classification like separable equations and exact differential equation. Thank you very much.